we're talking about diet and nutrition, okay? Notice where I, I separate those two terms. Again, so this, is a, this can be a minefield, okay? Let's not overcomplicate. It's not a simple, uh, uh, it's not simple, but let's not overcomplicate it, okay? If you're following a diet parameter, basically a diet is a set of guidelines, be it calorie counting, be it restrictive uh, intermittent fasting, be it uh, ketogenic diet, be it carnivore. You want to uh, uh, stick to the, the confines of those parameters of that diet. Now, again, ratios, and folks, when somebody says it's 90% diet, 80% diet, it's just, it's anybody's guess, really. But there is definitely a rule of thumb, and that is that if you're, you cannot uh, out train a bad diet plan, okay? Uh, there's a quite a famous diet, it's called the 5 2 0 diet, okay? Well, most people uh, who train really hard and, and their diet is yeah, 90% effective throughout the week, as soon as they hit the Friday evening, two days, the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and they don't focus on that, they don't focus on the uh, a cheat window instead of a day or uh, and they've just let everything go downhill you're not going to get a lot of results okay so even though five days have been quite good two days can be very very detrimental if you're trying to do body composition as well so again trying to be 100% on a diet is so hard and that can some people can do that for a week some people can do that for a month some people can even do that for three months, a real hard diet, but there's a, a huge chance that when you eat that 100% diet for three months, can maybe go 100% the other way as soon as you finish that. So again, we're going back to the, uh, the intensity over consistency. If you have a consistent plan, consistent diet that you can maintain good results or even small results for every single week out of 52 weeks in that year, you're going to have better results than going 100% at a diet that is so regimented and is so hard to focus on that you can only do for three months and then the other nine months you're trying to play cats up because you've, you've gone the opposite side of that. So yes, diet and nutrition can be a minefield, okay? So what's the best diet? There isn't any. Uh, people say it's what works for you, and that is the truth. Uh, the, the way that I like to work on nutritional plans is not a diet, but it's an elimination diet. So what we do is we, we take take everything out, okay? We're just maybe taking, taking vegetables and taking meat, okay? And we do that for five days to seven days, okay? And then we start to add things in. There's a lot of people who are working on a nutrition plan, it might not be the diet, it might be the fact that your your gut health isn't working. So once you start to add one food group and be it a carbohydrate source, be it a protein, be it a fat, then you can let your body get a feel for it. Is that responding good to our, or well to our bodies? Uh, for instance, processed carbs and compared to root vegetables, okay, your potatoes, uh, your sweet potatoes, uh, compared to rice, compared to brown rice, compared to pastas. So some people might be really good on root potatoes or root vegetables. Uh, I'm okay with rice, might be a little bit gassy in rice, but then when they go into pastas, which is classified as a semi-healthy <laughs> food, they actually might have an intolerance to pasta, the wheat or the starch, okay? So an elimination diet is a great way to kind of cleanse the body, reintroduce food groups that we let our bodies feel uh, can, can aid us in development of either building muscle or burning fat. And if we focus on building muscle, nine, nine times out of 10, we're gonna lose body fat as well. So I don't like saying 90%, 100%, okay? Very hard for anybody to be 100% focused, okay? Competitive bodybuilders need to be that. Uh, if you have a competition and a deadline, yes, we can ramp up that intensity of being diet focused, 90%, 95%. But being 100% for so long can only last for so long until we regress, okay? We always want to make progressive steps on diet and nutrition as well. So again, what diet is the best? Right? It's literally what you can sustain, what you can maintain, what you feel like you're not sacrificing 
the foods that you enjoy, but still getting results. So again, going back to the last video where we did your average weight, diet, nutrition comes in with your, your uh, figuring out your weight, where you want to get to as well, uh, your calories in, calories out, you know, are you working throughout the day or you have your physical job? Are you sedentary? Are you sitting down a lot? All these factors, what age are you? How much weight do you have to lose? How much body fat percentage do you have? All these factors can help redefine the purpose and the, the programming of the diet or the nutrition plan as well. So again, that's, that's very, that's, we can, we tend to overcomplicate um, uh, a diet, okay? If you can stay within the confines of the diet, and if you can be consistent with that diet, you will get results. Okay, so that's my best advice. Elimination, choose a dietary program, work in that program two to four weeks, and if you get results on that, and your mind and your body feels good, because remember your mind and your body has to work in unison with a nutrition plan, with your training plan, you will get better results over the long term. And long term results are better because you're not going to crash the other way by doing something too hard. Remember, consistent dietary habits will always get better results than being intense, 100% effort, and then all of a sudden going the opposite way. Okay? Hope that helps.